multiplier and I'm going to do another tutorial. It is going to be how to make this kind of noise. Pretty cool, right? It's the same kind of thing that Afrojack used with Diplo in Pondy Floor. So, yeah, it's pretty cool noise. And I used it in my track, Neon Fire Rave Monkey, which made a lot of sense. Anyway, um, first thing you want to do is get a beer because that makes the whole process an awful lot better. Nice. Anyway. A basic idea is to sample an a cappella or any bit of vocal and then automate the transpose on it. And this is how I did it in Ableton. Okay, I'll just turn off all the effects so that you can hear it a bit cleaner. And I'll solo the track as well, so you can hear it. Cool. So here it is, clean. Cool. Okay, what I did is I've got this pretty cool setup with a drum rack, which I haven't seen anyone doing, but it makes my workflow an awful lot better. And basically what I do is I put a sampler in each of these boxes here and there's basically infinitely many boxes well okay not infinite but there's an awful lot and it's a button on a keyboard really so when you press a button on a keyboard it will like play this is that working Um, oh, uh, oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. Press this. Okay, I made the basic mistake. You can learn from this. I was in the wrong channel that I'd soloed. So, I did the same thing here. I have a drum rack, and each of these things is like a button on a keyboard. So, you can hear in this box I've got. And then, and all that's really going on is each of these blocks corresponds to a different point in a vocal I've got. And like here, I've got the reverse of that one, and that's the reverse of that, and so on. So you basically just fill up a drum rack with all sorts of vocal noises and stuff. And that means whenever you're feeling creative, as opposed to like dragging out some sam samplers and trying to find a nice vocal through your sample library and by that stage you've forgotten what you wanted to do. I just have a setting called Vox, which is short for Vox, and I just drag one of them out, plug in my keyboard or my MIDI fighter and then just start bashing away at keys and coming up with a cool little rhythm or something. So what I did, have a track which I've called Vox One, and I've got a bunch of these MIDI clips, which has a pattern of this like noise I've got a sample of and I've only used one vocal noise the whole way through but you can have whatever noises you want it doesn't really matter and you can see I've written out da 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 and so on and that sounds like this Which is pretty amazing, right? Um, nah, but we need to do some more stuff to it. So what I've done after I've got that basic like pattern down is I've automated the transpose. And you have to remember which of these you were playing. So if I just play it through, you should you can kind of see which lights up. Wait. So yeah, it's that one. You see that thing lit up. So just click that one and then go on to pitch oscillator 
and then you want to modulate by automating that transpose thing there and that moves the sample light up and down the keyboard which is up the keyboard playing it faster down the keyboard playing it slower so it's kind of a neat way of modulating the pitch except if you use say like the frequency shifter it will sound all stupid so this is a really nice way of keeping sounding just really nice and this whole basic setup applies to any DAW or door I don't even know how you're supposed to say it but um, in Ableton you automate it by just going um, into this view clicking that button looking for whichever one is the one you're going to be automating which I know is this one because I've just done it, but find, find, find whichever one you're doing and then just click the next one and find transpose. That's the easiest way of doing it. And then you can see what's going on here. Um, as it goes up, it transposes it up and then down, it transposes it down. And at the moment it's at zero and then you can just see, obviously as time moves along, it transposes like this. So it goes up and then down and then up and then down and then up and then down and then up and then down and so on and then you get this cool little noise happening so you want to kind of play around with your pattern which you got and then play around with this automated transpose thing to just basically get a cool kind of like hook pattern going on and um, just you can do it randomly or you can have a sound in your head and try and try and make that I personally do a combination of the two and then get a cool two bar one bar four bar whatever pattern you like and then from there make a few of them if you're doing a whole track I made three and I conveniently all called them hook one which makes things really easy um, but uh, yeah, I coloured them so I can see what's going on a bit better. Um, I wasn't supposed to play that then. But yeah, I do lots of nice colours, so it looks like I'm, uh, I know what I'm doing. But uh, yeah, to basically just get a few little hook patterns going, arrange them all, and then you've got the basis of a lead hook going on. And as far as effects, I did a simple delay. I'll show you the before and after. And then delay on. It's kind of subtle, but um, yeah, when you add in a reverb, it will do more. And then just uh, high pass it. Pretty standard. I haven't added too many effects to it, to be honest, but you can go crazy or keep it clean, do whatever you want. And then um, obviously, yeah, chuck in the final mastering. That's just my mastering bit, which gives it a bit of shine and stuff. Pretty cool. So yeah, um, the kind of the the key idea to get here is if you you are quite good at Ableton and use it a lot, think about using drum racks to store a bunch of sounds. You can do all this with drums or whatever you want, and it means you spend half an hour setting up one of these drum racks, saving it, and then whenever you're feeling creative in the future, you can just whip it out a little jam away and then you haven't wasted any time setting up and losing your creativity and all that and yeah it's basically got a sample and automated the transpose and ended up having that cool pondy floor kind of sound to it which I'm pretty stoked on and yeah that's about it really um, I've ignored all, all the basics, but I'm sure you might pick up a thing or two. And oh yeah, I've got a Facebook page and stuff now, so check me out. Just search for Multiply Music, or I think there's a link to it on my YouTube page, and there's also a link to my SoundCloud and my Twitter and stuff. So yeah, I'll be putting out 
exclusive content on the Facebook page, so that's probably the best place to find me if you want updates and all that. Um, yeah. Bye.